Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Apples and Tiaras. So today I'm going to do a highly requested video and that is my what is in my teacher bag. Now I apologize in advance for my really lazy outfit. I just got home from work and I just had to take off all my tight work clothes and put on this like loose, like amazing dress that is just comfortable. So I'm going to show you guys what is in my teacher bag today. Um, I just want to sh share with you that my teacher bag is not as exciting as some may think because I choose not to drag things back and forth that I don't need. So it's very practical, um, it's very effective, and it's not very full. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So this is the bag itself, and it is this a cute little bus bag that I got from Mod Cloth about three or four years ago. I got it while I was still student teaching, and it's so cute, it has a little face. And then over here, this side is actually ripped because it's kind of a loved bag, but I have intentions to sew it back together. I just haven't yet. So this is the bag, and I'm just going to go through each pocket and show you guys what's in it. So the first thing that's in here is obviously my water bottle. Um, I do carry this, this back and forth, and it's either in this bag or in my lunch box, and today I just shoved it in this bag. And it's still icy cold. So I keep this in my teacher bag all the time. And let's see if there's anything. Oh, there's some trash in here. That's embarrassing. Um, so that's what was in this pocket. This side pocket is where I'm going to next. Um, I keep my keys in here, my lanyard, and then I keep some change in here for the vending machine. So if I ever wanted a drink or anything, I can keep that in there. Um, or if for some reason I forget my lunch and I need to buy one, I just keep change in there just in case. And then on my actual badge, I have my name tag. I have my, um, it's just one of these little like gorilla guys. And then I have my whistle, my keys, and then I'll show you my buttons that I have on my lanyard because it's my favorite part. So I have my ASU Mary Lou Fulton Teacher College button on there. I've got a little mermaid inspired button. I have my police wife button, I have a frozen button, and I have an aerial button, which I got from a student. She went to Disneyland and she brought me back a button, it was so sweet. So that is what my lanyard looks like. I'm putting it back in the bag because I don't want to forget those. <laughs> and I also just, you know, I zoomed in a little so you can see a little bit more detail. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go through the side pouches in here. And this is a great bag because it has one, two, three pouches on this side. It has one on each side of the bag, and then it has two larger ones in the back. So you can't really see, but there's like pockets in there. I'll just show you when it's empty. So I'm going through these front pockets. So in these front pockets, I have some Zoom Mist, and the reason I have these is because my kids love being sprayed with them. This one is Rosemary Mint, and this one is Lavender Lemon, and this is their absolute favorite one. Sorry if you hear vibrating in the background, my phone's ringing. They love getting sprayed with this on a hot day. It cools them off, it refreshes them, oh, and they love it. Now, I'll probably just end up filling this with lemon again and lavender and making my own because I have those at home, but this was like $8 at Sprouts and they love it. This one, not so much. I spray this on them when they're having a stomach ache because the mint kind of soothes that, um, but I'll only spray it on like their arms and their chest. I never spray their face with this one because the mint can get in their eyes, but they love this one on their face. They're like, please, some of them take their glasses off. Please spray me with it. They love these, especially on hot day. And then another thing that's in here is a vitamin C pack because you need to have those if you're a teacher, definitely. And then I'm going to put it right back where I found it because I don't want to forget anything. I have a paper clip that's loose in there. Okay, now I'm going into, oh, there isn't a side pocket on that one. There is on this one, though. And in this side pocket, I have some random pens. And or, this is a pencil, and these are highlighters that aren't supposed to be there. There's actually a place in this bag for those. So I'm going to leave these out so that I can re so that I can reorganize them. But that's what was in this, like, side pocket that's in there. Next, I have the back pockets. Now the back pockets have a pack of gum because sometimes after I've had coffee all day or like something at lunch and my breath smells, I need to pop one of these in because I don't need to be all up in their face with stinky breath. 
And then I also keep my watch in here so that I don't... So that I don't... I just hit myself in the face with it. I keep my watch in here so that I don't forget it, and the second I leave work, I take it off, I put it in the bag, and then it's fine, I don't lose it. Um, this is just a Skakin watch um, that I've had for years. I love rose gold, so it's my favorite watch. And then I have my essential oils in here. I have a peppermint oil for headaches, and then I have a digestion oil for tummy aches, and yes, I did get permission from my parents to use these on my students. I do not like sending them to the nurse, so if I can avoid anything in class, I will. And you know, a tummy ache in class, I just use this, or a headache in class, I just use this. And it seems to do the trick. And the other pouch doesn't have anything in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the big part of the bag. So this big old thing sticking out. I haven't used this in a while, but I just started using it again. This is how I keep track of grading. Um, and what I've been using it for is normally I'll have like the tabs labeled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and I don't need to have them labeled because I can kind of tell which one is which. But I just have some things that need to be graded from today in them. So I just literally take my inbox and put whatever's in it in here. And then I just bring it home. And if I want to grade it here, I will. If not, I'll save it for my mom sometimes comes in and grades. Um, so I'll save it for her. But usually it's in here. Um, and since yesterday we tested, so there's nothing in the Monday, so that's just from today, and then tomorrow I'll put in here, Thursday, Friday, and then this could be like random stuff. But I like to keep this in here so I can take it back and forth, so if I do end up having time to grade, I can just pull it out and just sit there and work on whatever I need to grade. Next is one of my favorite, favorite things. This is where those pens belong, but this is this cute little apple thing. It's like... I guess you'd call it a clutch. It's like thin um, and it opens up like this. And Jennifer and I both got these when we were at TJ Maxx together. We love them. And I'm um, just gonna put these in here because this is where they belong. Um, but this is where I keep like loose pens. Um, I've got like some random colored pencils, pens, just anything that I find that I've thrown in here. Um, I also keep a little jar of paper clips in here. Um, this used to be like a push pin holder and I just put paper clips. This is for when I have an assignment that I've already like organized and I've put it on the paper clip and then I'm done grading it and I don't need to pass it back. I just put the paper clip in here and save it and then I just dump these back into the bin at school. Or if I want to organize them once I've graded them, I have paper clips to do so. I also have tape for any ripped assignments or if I do rip one on accident, um, I can tape it back together. And then I have a random little piece of gum in here. I don't know, apparently I don't like loose things roaming around in my bag. But anyway, isn't this the cutest little thing? I thought it was so cute. I'll probably repurpose it and put all my essential oils in it next year, but for now this is what it's been used for and it's worked out great. Then I also have a jar of um, clothespins. Um, they're all different kinds. There's days of the week, there's pencils, there's like these little A plus ones. This jar itself was a gift from a student and I actually just ended up putting all of my cute little clothespins in here and I use these just to organize assignments. Um, sometimes I'll come in here and pull one out and then like put it on my desk but then when I'm done I put it back in here like this one says Tuesday. Um, so I just use those for any like loose paper or anything else that I want to organize. Then I've got my school, or my my personal iPad that I use for my class iPad. The charger's in here so that if I need to charge it while it's at school, I have it. And if I want to charge it, if I want to take it home, I have the charger with me at all times. So I just keep it in this bag so that I don't lose it. Okay, then I have my camera bag in here. And there's no camera in it because I'm filming with it right now. But um, I keep my vlogging camera in my school bag just in case I want to vlog or feel like vlogging. And in there I have an extra battery, a wipe cloth for the screen or the lens, and then the lens cap which is obviously off because I'm filming with it. And then I normally keep the charger in here as well so that if it dies I can recharge it. Um, but the camera's on here because it's in front of me. Next I have another fun pen that is not in the place it's supposed to be, um, but this doesn't really fit in the apple bag so I just let it loose in here. Um, but this is just a cute little Valentine's pen that I have. And then last but not least, yes last, I have my favorite markers. 
my favorite pens, the Stadler, 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 I have no idea how to say that. These pens that I mentioned in my monthly favorite video, these pens are my favorite for grading, they're my favorite for anything. Um, sometimes I keep my agenda in here, which I do not have. It's just like a, de a regular like planner from Target because I don't feel like, I think next year I might get an Erin Condren, but I think I'm gonna get the life planner, not the teacher planner. I don't know yet, we'll see, I have to decide. But normally that's in here as well. I just didn't have it in here today because I left it at work. This goes in here. Sorry guys, so I was going to show you the inside of the bag. So you can see the pockets here on the side, and then the other pockets here. And then the very last thing I have on here is just my hand sanitizer, and it's just this little apple one from Bath & Body Works, and I think it's like champagne sparkle or something in there. I don't think it matters. But that is everything that I keep in my teacher bag. Like I said, it's very simple, not too much stuff, anything that I really need to cart back and forth. I'm not going to keep like everything in here that I need at school because I'm gonna be there in the morning. So if I need something at home, then I have it because I don't wanna junk up my house with all this stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, comment down below if you keep anything else in your teacher bag that I didn't mention or if you have a video of your teacher bag, I'd love to see it, so link that down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.